joining us. Here are the eight things you need to know today. It is back to school, as we were just mentioning, for students this morning in Wyndham and in Raymond. Meanwhile, a 16-year-old boy is expected to face a judge in court today terrorizing on terrorizing charges, accused of emailing threats to school officials, which kept RSU 14 schools closed for three days. There will be added security at the schools for the rest of the week. The New Hampshire man accused of kidnapping a Conway teen last year is now facing hundreds of charges. 34-year-old Nathaniel Kibbe was arrested in July. New details released in court documents say he threatened the 14-year-old, sexually assaulting her for nine months. Prosecutors say they are now consulting with outside experts to decide whether to file any charges against the owners of Harvest Hill Farms. That was the site of October's deadly hayride crash in Mechanic Falls that killed 17-year-old Cassidy Charette and injured 22 others. Security will be tight in and around the federal courthouse in Boston today for a pre-trial hearing for marathon bombing suspect Jokar Sarnayev. It is the last scheduled court hearing before jury selection begins January 5th. The trial is expected to last several months. Continuing the eight things that you need to know today, after decades of isolation and months of secret talks, the United States and Cuba are restoring diplomatic ties. The two countries will ease travel restrictions, and the United States will soon establish an embassy in Havana. The president is also asking Secretary of State John Kerry to visit Cuba to review its designation as a state sponsor of terrorism. Federal investigators have been able to connect the Sony Pictures hack to North Korea, but it is not yet clear how the United States will respond. Sony says it's canceling the release of the interview movie following threats against theaters. And breaking this morning, we are now learning that Boko Haram insurgents kidnapped at least 185 women and children and killed 32 people in a raid in northeastern Nigeria this week. This is all according to local officials and residents there. Back in April, the Islamist terror group kidnapped more than 200 girls from a Nigerian boarding school.